Hey, it's a big nest of spare audio video cables. These are just what I need for... Well, that's about the worst thing that could have happened. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I'm a Roomba now. This is my life now. Oh my god. I can't control. I can choose the direction. Hey, watch it! Whoops. You gotta bring the whole place down! Hey. I didn't know I could get back here. Okay. I guess I'm gonna say greetings, travelers, because I've done enough now. Oh, crap. I didn't even know I could get back here. Ouch! Yeah, greetings, travelers. I'm gonna just Ooh. hit some stuff until something happens. What's happening? Papa's trying to kill you. Hang on. Help me! <laughs> Whoops. Oh well, any cockroach foster son of mine is plenty resilient enough to survive a good vacuuming. Okay. Now I'm a cactus probably again. Yeah. Oh. But now I have... Okay, so I can't... So, I now have... So... It seems like only yesterday I watched him hatch. Which is odd, considering it was only a few hours ago. Hours? It's only been a few minutes. Or day, depending on when you watch this. Don't worry, Sam Jr. Your foster pa will take care of the Max Apocalypse with no problem. Who's worried? I'm a roach! I can survive a nuclear winter! Cute. Even though it's a guy again. Alright. I raised this roach from a grub. I'm not ready to lose him so soon. Okay. Um. Chocolate? I raised this roach from. Uh, what could I use this on? It's birthday? I raised this roach from a- Sybil says I don't know what it's like to be a parent. I'll show her, won't I, Sam Jr.? Oh! oh okay, so the balloons have nothing to do with it. I'm an idiot. I'm a parent now. What is that, a roach? Ugh, gross. Well, I never. Don't give it to me, Sam. Take it outside and kill it. Don't listen to her, Sam Jr. The mean lady is on heavy medication and doesn't know what she's talking about. Wait a second. You really do care about that roach, don't you? He's the promise of a future generation. Not that you'd ever understand. I think I underestimated you, Sam. You really do have the heart of a parent. And a real parent, not keeper of some half-statue freak show. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Let's get moving and save Max! Hallelujah, Sam Jr. Now that we've motivated our fellow Lifebringer, we can control Max's legs and haul his terrifying bulk across the length and or breadth of the city. Okay. Oh, game saved. Oh! Oh. Hi. Sam, I'm picking up an unusual spike in brainwave activity from Max. Are you trying to take control of him? Control Max? 
We've got everything under control, Mama Bosco. Rescue team, assume giant max form go. Please tell me I can destroy the city. Motor skills to full power. Neurons and stuff aligned for transbasal plasmic shift or something. Release exhaust. Activate feet and legs. Manual override active. Go! Activate hands and arms. Uh, Sam, you have not unlocked the arms yet. All oh, right. Well, we can still walk around and stuff though, right? We suppose, if you don't mind shambling through the city, pointlessly smashing everything in sight. Well, Can't think of a good reason not to. Oh my god, and we are! Oh my god, explore battery park. This won't do us any good until we can control Max's arms. Okay, so... Okay, let's destroy the city. No. Wait. I can't make Max do anything useful. Okay, well, let's... So we can't destroy anything. No running either. That's the thing that sucks. Come on. I saw lights over here. We're going to the lights. Oh, no, they were right here. Bosco Tech Labs. Hey, is there someone on the roof? This isn't much fun without being able to control Max's arms. Okay. So we have Sam, the feet. My biosensors are detecting a drop off in transmotor electrical impulses to the lower quadrant. I'll oh, skip it. Do you want to keep controlling Max or not? No. I'm done here. I want to go back. Okay. So. We have to figure out how to control... Oh, I didn't even look at this. Visible Max. Oh, that's convenient. There's a UR here marker. Oh, cool. Alright, so we need to figure out how to get to... Yeah. So that's the legs. Was there any other one that we could click on? Oh, come on. One of you, you oh the arms they're right here so let's figure out what we gotta do for the arms it's probably gonna be where uh, paperweight's at another party member oh this is gonna be the best campaign ever we're gonna play Dungeons and Dragons? Ah, there you are, Sam. Paperweight here believes he's found a way to control the creature's arms. Yes! We are standing on a network of neurotransmitters, and by forming biogenic connections between them, mm. we can relay electrical impulses from dendrites in the brain to muscle tissue. The tissues. short version, Poindexter. I can step on these shapes to control the arms. Oh, fuck. Great, let's get to it so we can pick up huge stuff. You'll have to activate the manual override first. The impulses come through that machine over there. Oh, that might be annoying. Max has got some nerve. Oh, I wanna play! Wait your turn, fake Max. It's time to watch a master at work. This is pretty much the worst video game I've ever played. You have to read the command off the screen, Sam. I cannot see it from here. Left leg brass knuckles. 
Let me know if you need extra appendages, Paperweight. I have tentacles to spare. I guess the brain has stopped trying to work against us. I was concerned since we're so close to the speech center. This is going to be easy. So... Right hand... Wait. There's... It's right hand flail. Left leg Wait a second. I didn't say that. Got it! Are you sure that was right? Perhaps you should try again. This is going really well. Keep listening to what I say. I want right foot flail. Left hand grabs the nose. If you say so. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. No, it's my turn now. Okay. You'll need to complete two more circuits to activate the manual override. So it's left hand bacon? Right foot and on. Got it! This is just like the final boss battle against Agamemnon in Ultra Shining Quest 2, where you have to use your holy katana three times against his exposed other sack to complete the ritual of quickening and- Don't listen to him, Sam. Stay awake and stay the course. Alright, let's see what kind of curveball this throws at me. So right hand... The only thing that's right hand. Left foot pistol. Almost there! Smashing job, Sam! Okay, that was easy. Right hand grabs the nose. Roger that! What have you done, Sam? The arms! They are spasming out of control! I've been hit. This wasn't supposed to happen. Error. I'm so caught up in you. Error. Oh no! The radioactive brain core is exposed! Your head will collapse, and there's nothing in it. And you'll ask yourself, who let the dogs out? Oh. Yes! A dentist chasing you with a hatchet, being loaded into the car for a trip to the vet! Oh, delicious! Sam! You must wake up! What? What happened? I must protest! I was savoring a most delectable nightmare! The radiation is too dangerous for you, Sam! You pass it out! Evidently, Paperweight and I are immune. Looks like you're stuck with me for another hundred years, eh, Paperweight? <laughs> yes, my master. We'll go back and resume our studies, but you must find someone else to operate those arm controls. Oh no, Sam Jr. Are you okay, little guy? Uh. Hello! I'm a roach! We can survive anything! So much attitude. Must be hitting his teen years. Who do I know who's immune to radiation? Okay. So, why did it... Radiation! You've got to get out before! Oh, never mind. Okay, so I have to just... I've got to stop doing that. You all good, Sam Jr.? Radiation can't kill me, but you're smothering parenting, Mike! That's my boy. We're going to need somebody immune to radiation to operate those controls, but who? Pretty simple. I just didn't do it right. Okay, Sam Jr., I want you to make me proud and operate those arm controls. I'm on it! And that's pretty much it. Hmm, that didn't take long. What happened? I never learned to read! Don't worry about it, little guy. 
But now I've got to find somebody who's immune to radiation and literate. Fuck! Ah, uh, Who? There's no one else here! Oh! Sam, it looks like you're writing a letter. What? I mean, it looks like you're trying to control Max. Is We're going in. Alright, let's try going back to... There's someone on the roof. God, I can't. I can't do anything about it. Hey, is there some walking around Max's insides has me craving haggis for some reason. Okay, so I probably have to go somewhere else. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, let's figure out... Is there anywhere else for me to go? Oh, oh. What did it want me to... Sorry, ma'am. Trust me, he won't remember any of this. Crush Generico Incorporated Headquarters. Sorry, ma'am. Trust me, he won't remember any of this. Okay, so I can't do anything with this place. Chomp Harry Arms Apartment. That's not working. Battery Park, which is weird that that's a place. Okay, I... Let's get out of this. Sam! I need some me time. Is there something wrong here? There it is. The power plant at Battery Park. Oh! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. It's... Sam, Max is acting crazy again. Are you trying to control him? Yes. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. Roger that, Mama Bosco. Alright. Back to... Bosco Tech. I wonder how Mama Bosco and Super Ball are doing. I should take Max back to the labs to check in. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for telling me exactly what I was thinking. Go this way. Come on. Yep. I can hear the music. It tells me I'm in the right place. Bosco Tech Labs. Look at it once. Hey, is there someone on the roof? Yes. And now that he's looking... Keep me updated, Sam. Are you going to keep controlling Max? I'm done here. I want to go... Now... We're outside Bosco Tech Labs. And wait a second. There are a couple of people up on the roof talking. Oh my god. Wow, look at all that destruction. Oh, isn't it romantic? That sounds like Stinky and her cockroach boyfriend, Sal. What could they be up to? 
Just one more night, and it'll all be over. Amazing. I'm hearing what Max hears, right down to the irritating subsonic frequencies audible only to lagomorphs and professional bagpipers. I bet Monster Max's stomach is getting tired of craving corn dogs. He should switch over to something more orthopodic. Ah! 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 Where's the stomach? Where's the stomach at? Right here. Got it. And he's right in front of Sal, so he's in the right place. I love Sam Jr. like a daughter. Uh, what? Hey. But I'll admit, he's an acquired taste. Corn dogs. Corn do Wait. Madre de Dios! La cucaracha! We must gather delicious cockroaches for the host! Uh, I don't know about this, Stinky. Feels like we got in way over our head. Don't tell me you're getting cold tarsal pads now, baby. Hmm. Not when we're so close to having everything we ever wanted. Yeah, that's another thing. It was kind of exciting for the first couple of decades, but I don't think... What's that? It sounds like something's coming. Maybe the thing that's been terrorizing the town for the whole night? Yeah, so anyways, like I was saying... Please, 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 please. Never fear, my queen. I've got you now. <laughs> you just could not let her fall to her death. Well, we saved Sal. That's all that matters. Hiya, Sam. So this is what hell looks like. Well, kinda, now that you mention it. But we're not in hell. Really? Because I'd done some real bad things. I figured that monster had finally punched my ticket. No, we're just in Max's stomach. If you want to make up for all the bad things you've done, you can help us save the city. I'll do anything. Well, almost anything. Maybe I'd better hear what it is first. Okay, use that video game machine up in the arm controls and read the commands off to Masure Paperweight. The brain's going to try to ventriloquize you to say the wrong thing, so... So I just say the complete opposite, right? Any dope could figure that out. Well, not any dope. I think you'd have to be pretty clever to figure that out. Hey, it, it, I figured it out instantly. Brilliant, Sam. This roach is pure dynamite. He solved the manual override even faster than you did. Yeah, well, I did it first. There you go, Sam. I took care of those arms like you wanted. <coughs> I'll just get over to Battery Park and you can... Wait, what? So, are you okay, buddy? Looks like this is the end of my ride after all. Hey, Sam? But I thought roaches were immune to radiation. Nah, that's just a <coughs> urban legend. But I figured that if a bunch of people need something, then that kind of weighs more than just one newly single deadbeat cockroach, you know? That's beautiful, Sal. I'll uh, edit it down a little before it goes into your biography. Now get over to that power plant and save the... <laughs> That's actually pretty depressing. I like Sal. Get over to that power plant and save the what, Sal? What? We need to know! Of all the roaches I've known, Sal was the second most human. Wait. Well, we do know three cockroaches in this series. I'll be sure to give them a proper and respectful flushing once this case is over. I'll be sure to give them okay, a Okay, enough. Alright, so we got the arms done. Let's just... Yeah, let's just take Alright, team. We've only got a few hours left to save Max. Let's do this. We have the full control of the arms. Go! Then we're off to Battery Park. Activate feet and legs. Still active! Go! Activate hands and arms. Max rescue team, go! <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright.
come on. Whatever it was I clicked on. Good work, Max. I've never liked this building. Really? Good work, Max. I've never liked this building. Okay, so it doesn't actually crumble it. Oh, damn it. Come on. Come on. Let's go to Battery Park, then. Team, we're going in. Strutting sequence engaged. Let's do this with some style, people. Beginning electrocution sequence. It's what? for your own good, not so little, buddy. Did it work? Only one way to find out. Okay. Come on. Come on. Walk. Ouch. We're not going to be able to take out this tumor until I get into the brain and throw that circuit breaker. Oh. That jolt should have been enough to short out Max's psychic powers. I'm going in. Uh-uh. Not so fast, my friend. Have you solved the mystery? I'll give you one more moment to check your work. Oh yeah, the mystery well, who will Well, the betray. clues to our villain's identity have been laid before you since the moment our story began. Have you figured it out yet? Is it you? Is it Monsieur Paperweight and no. his hideous counterpart, Dr. Norrington, refugees from a dimension of pure evil? Nah. Or General Skunkarpe, driven mad by his insatiable lust for the toys of power. No. Civil pandemic with her... Do you mind? I'm trying to... Oh, now you've just ruined it. Oh, sorry. But what are you doing inside Max's brain? Inside Max's brain? <laughs> My dear Sam, I am Max's brain. Well... Max's brain is a monochromatic fade British gentleman? Not the entire brain, perhaps. Just the part that matters. I believe the Great Freud matter. called it the superego, but I'd hate to sound boastful. Oh. Okay, I actually get to talk to the narrator. Nice. Are you the cause of Max's psychic powers? No. The gift was within Max from the beginning. A gift of incalculable power. It was just shape-shifting and some teleportation. Pretty common stuff, really. In all the universe, the only power beyond the mind's comprehension is the power of the mind. And how did Max use that power? To explore the mysteries of the infinite? No, to put the smack down on a host of petty criminals. Such a disappointment. A disappointment that will have to be corrected. Alright. You know what? I'm going to save this for next episode. Because I feel like we are very close to the end. Now, I will say... I'm going to do the same thing I've done with a lot of other series. If this next part turns out to be stupid short... Like... 10, 15 minutes or something, then I'll just add it to the one you guys are watching now. So, if right now it looks like the episode's going to go on for a good bit longer, then this is the final episode. If not, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys are enjoying the series finale of Sam and Max. Bye-bye.